Welcome to another Codefish Quick Bytes, where I show you in five minutes or less how you can implement any step or feature into your Codefish pipeline. Today, we're going to be looking at generic pipelines for your microservices. Meaning, if you have a large scale application, you might end up creating one pipeline per microservice that's within. And that doesn't make much sense. Meaning, you might end up copy pasting steps. You might end up creating the same kind of a logic within each pipeline. Instead, what you want to be doing is creating generic reusable pipelines that you can reuse across all of your microservices. So let's take a look at that. Something that's specific to Codefresh, that every pipeline has several steps and every step of that pipeline is a separate Docker image. So what you have in other pipelines and other providers, you have a pipeline and you could be using, reusing the steps of those pipelines. So as you can see here, we can use from pipeline one, step C, and we use that in pipeline two, step C. However, that results in several drawbacks, such as how do you maintain it? How do you keep a library of each of the steps? How do you connect them? How do you know which step is used within each pipeline and so on? So you still have to maintain each of those pipelines. How does Codefresh do that instead? Well, within Codefresh as well, you usually have one Git repository and one pipeline for that repository that does the build, testing, deployment and so on. So for that pipeline, you can have several triggers. For example, what if you push to that Git repository? What if you make a PR and so on? So for microservice specifically, you could set up one pipeline and have several triggers for each of your microservices. So you have multiple microservices set up and they each trigger a generic pipeline. Let's take a look at how the pipeline is actually set up. We're right now here in our Codefish account. We can go ahead and check out the project that I set up earlier with our reusable pipeline. As you can see, we have three different stages within this pipeline. The clone stage is responsible for cloning our Git repository where we made the change that triggered the pipeline. The next stage, the build stage, is responsible for building our container image and pushing it to the container registry that we have connected to our Codefish account. Now, the last step is responsible for deploying our application through a Helm chart to our Google Cloud cluster in that case. Once we run the pipeline, for example, we use this Helm example application, we run our pipeline. Now, it will fill out those custom code fresh variables that we have throughout this pipeline definition. So, for instance, I'm the repository owner, so it will say NIS dash code fresh and then the name of the application that triggered the pipeline. It will fill in the other variables for our pipeline as defined through the pipeline build. So those are not variables that I have to define myself. They are pulled automatically through code fresh. Now, how do we run the pipeline? As you can see here on the right, we have triggers. Now let's take a look at those triggers. Now, both of them function in a similar way. Both of them have Helm charts. So I can create the same pipeline for both of them. Now, once a trigger is created, and you can just simply create a trigger by clicking here on the right on the trigger section and adding a trigger. Now we have four different types of triggers, either Git related, Chrome, Registry or Helm related. Lastly, we can run our pipeline. Now I'm just going to invoke the trigger. In this case, I'm just going to invoke this repository on this branch, hit run, and it will build our pipeline. Now let's fast forward once the pipeline has finished building. Now, as you can see, our pipeline just finished running. You can follow the output or each step within the output section over here. Now, let's go ahead and run our second pipeline. Now, we are going to go ahead and trigger the other pipeline to build. Now, another important aspect here to consider is that Codefish has about five different caching options, meaning once you run your pipeline once with one trigger and one of your microservices, it will be much faster the next time you trigger the same pipeline through any of your other microservices, since it will reuse different container images from the previous pipeline builds. Now, as you can see, our pipeline just finished building. So over here, we have our repository where that build was from which is different than from the build before. So as you can see, I use different repositories or in your case, you might be using different microservices. Now, this is it for today. I hope it was useful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming webinars, tutorials and more.
I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.